Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lindsay and today I have some really exciting news. My house is getting baby chicks and we have set up our brooder. I'm gonna show you how to set up our brooder for super cheap. And um, I'm gonna show you, they're getting them shipped to us so they'll, we'll be picking them up from our post office later this week. But you should always set up your brooder before you get them. So let's go get into it. Now the kind of plus to our house is that we have two crawl spaces and both of them are like walking in height. Um, and this is where we're putting our brooder and I actually DIY'd this brooder. Um, but let me show you the setup that we have. So this is our little chicken brooder. Uh, we decided not to go with the super hot um, hanging light system that is going to be a fire hazard and instead we ended up going with one of these hen plates the really exciting thing about the hen plate is it actually mimics you know getting under um a mama hen and then over here we have a water and a feeder and these lights are going to be on a time system we do have windows in the crawl space i just figured um that that this is going to be the best setup for them now we have a about five chicks getting delivered to us later this week um and then also my local uh kind of like plant pet shop has chickens that are going to be delivered later this week to them um those are the olive eggers and so i really want a variety of nice chicks that are going to be grow up to be really nice hens that aren't going to bully each other too much and uh, i did a lot of research on that overall do a lot of research um I'll check back in with you in a few days when we go pick up the chicks from the post office, but I just figured I would show you guys my DIY setup and I'm very excited for backyard chickens. Stay tuned y'all. I'll see you then. So the baby chickens, I, they are out for delivery. Um, I got the message yesterday that they shipped and they are overnight express shipped from Ohio. We live in Maryland. So that in itself is like a five hour drive. So I'm, they're scheduled to be delivered by the end of today, but I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'll keep you guys posted. God immediately humbled me today and um, I have a nail in my back tire. Uh, so I wasn't able to go to work, but the good thing is that I'm able to stay home and work from home today. So I'm just waiting for an update from the U.S. Postal Service, and, um, I've already called and told them that I'm expecting the package, so. Did you guys know that the U.S. Postal Service has been delivering chicken since the early 1800s? I read that online the other day, and I think that's just so crazy. The next day. All right, you guys, we just got the call that the baby chicks are ready to be picked up. How you feeling? I'm excited. I'm the only sure. thing I'm a little nervous for and everything that, you know, people have said online and I've had I friends who had chicks them. delivered to them is to be prepared that one or two may not make it. So mentally, we're getting you, in the zone. You can tell she's excited because she's out of breath because she was running. <laughs> <laughs> the chickens are here! The chickens are here! <laughs> okay, we'll keep you posted. So much. Okay, have a good one, alright? Thank you. Look at all that. Are you okay? You look like you're not okay. Give him the little love. He's so small. Oh my god. I'm so glad you made me say that. Me too. I would have been crying. So the baby chicks obviously came. Oh, they're pecking at each other. Yeah, they'll be pecking at each other. We'll find out the pecking order pretty soon, but I'm just so happy. I think this black, the black one, that one, I think he has pecking on, right? <laughs> like, from, he's pecking, everybody was pecking him. Even though he's the biggest one. That's the runt, obviously. I think, Either way, we'll figure out the pecking order, but it's important now uh -oh. that we get them into their brooder and we yeah. get them some food and water. You right, we live? Yeah, we live. Um, we have the baby chicks here and we're about to go put them in the brooder for the first time. Everything is already set up as it should be. So let me show you what we got going on. Yeah, 
His name is Pip. It has to be Pip. Yeah. chicken at the store <laughs> and she is just screaming in the box. Jeez. We're calling her Gigi. Get me out of here! That's what she's saying. What you doing? We're putting Gigi in the brooder. Make it on She's honor. screaming. Don't let me forget my keys here. Come on out, Gigi. Let me see your butt. Yeah, check for, what are you doing? We're checking for a pastry butt. Come on, Gigi. <laughs> Who the fuck is you? How's it going, Gigi? This one, this one is Bonnie, this one is Lorraine, <laughs> this one, this one's Miss Hazel, this one is Miss Pip, this one is Tina, she's my favorite, this is Miss Tina, and then we have one last one, where are you? This is Miss Gigi. And this is their little food dish. And they have to put rocks in their water or else they will drown. 